So, do you know that there's a way to turn your Apple iPhone into an Apple iPod? Xbox, Twitter, Uber, Postmates, Monday, Netflix, Movie Pass, Lyft, Google, Facebook, eBay, DoorDash, Apple, Amazon, Airbnb, The Entrepreneur. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please do me a favor. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. I have to use this hand as you'll see why in a minute. Uh, for new content, we upload on a daily basis. However, this is also the start of a brand new series we're going to be doing on this blog. Uh, not this blog, this channel. I, I, I was updating my blog earlier today and so, you know, kind of... Ooh. But anyway, so... I think we need just a little bit more fun on this channel. And Saturdays, I want to have content for you on Saturdays, but Saturdays, let's be honest, unless it's like a breaking news story, it's slow, they're usually not watched very much, and, and people don't want to start their weekends with, you know, you know, a killjoy, so to speak, you know what I mean? I know some people say like, oh, well, Friday is technically when the weekend starts. Yeah, but people, when people wake up on Friday morning, they're still going to work, so, you know, they'll still deal with a little bit of, um, you know, BS on the way to work when they listen to my videos, but on Saturday, they don't want to watch that. They want to watch positive things. And that's what we're going to talk about. So I want to do this new feature as many Saturdays as I can, where I want to recommend apps that I think are just cool or apps that I use or things that are practical. They could be reviewed, just a little quip, uh, might be a little new story like this one is. But here's the thing. we Most people love their iPhones and everything like that. And I know Apple still makes iPod touches. They exist. I will probably have to get one when my iPod finally dies. This thing has been through hell and back with me. It has my na name engraved on it, and I use this a lot. Uh, it definitely has done me good, although the battery does not hold nearly as long as it used to. However, what if you could take an iPhone, have the functions of an iPod, and have the look as well? Well, that's what an Elvin wanted to do. You can see the picture right here. He had this tweet Turn my iPhone into an iPod classic with click wheel and cover flow with Swift UI. So this is the article. It's a short one. Most of these recommendation videos will be fairly short. But Elvin Hugh, a design student at Cooper Union College in New York City, has created a new app that brings the touch-sensitive click wheel of the iPod classic to your iPhone. Hugh's recreation of the click wheel UI incorporates the haptic feedback and click sounds as you can see the app in action above. He designed the iPhone app while working on a paper about the development of the iPod. While he hopes to release the app, it remains to be seen if Apple will approve the project. So, um, Apple has not approved this project, although it would be really cool if they did. Um, let's see, the iPod click wheel came to the iPod Classic in the early 2000s, as it was also featured on the first several generations of the iPod Nano. The technology allowed you to navigate the device by rotating your finger around the circle. So they asked you to leave the, the comments. Now let's look at ha this thing in motion. I don't think there's any sound. Uh, the media could not be played. Interesting. Did they take this away? Did they just absolutely ruin my my video? So this is 18 second. Oh, there it is. There it is. So I don't know if I'm actually recording the sound on this or not. But yeah, that's kind of cool now. It still functions as an iPhone, as you can see, you can still scroll through. Although actually that's the cover flow and that is a feature on this device that I have right here. And apparently when you do that, it has the clicks, but he has to um, put it through Apple's little um, approval thing. Now I see additional tweets here. Let's see if anything has changed since then. Um, so, you know, uh, he's he got, uh, he's got some response. Um, so, you know, we've got, the comments are apparently really, um, yeah, the, the comments are extremely positive, um, <laughs> makes people want to, like, bring Winamp back, I think that's hilarious, um, but he does, but here's the thing, he, um, does not know if Apple will actually, um, what, will actually <laughs> get approved by Apple. So anyway, I hope this device, this app gets released. Um, this looks like a, well, let's go back over here now that it will show me this. This looks like a really neat little device. And in fact, hey, Elvin, if you ever want to come on the channel and talk about this, um, hey, I'd love to. I mean, I will probably never use it because I don't have an iPhone. Maybe Katie would like it, though. 
Who knows? So anyway, that's where we're going to leave this one since there's not much to talk about. But, you know, here's the thing. He's look, He's a designer and developer. He's looking for a full-time role. I think that's a great way to start your resume. So anyway, I'd like to know what everyone thinks about this. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, if gas prices are getting just a little down, check out the GitHub site out below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. If you want more content from me, check out my other channels, Kevin T. Rodriguez, The Afterpreneur Vlogs, and Autograph Found. And finally, if you want to talk to me or other fellow iPod enthusiasts I, enthusiasts I get, um, check us out The Afterpreneur Hangouts on Facebook. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.